All right, welcome back everyone. We are in Enshrouded. If you look above my head, there's something floating in that sky you may not have seen yet. I don't know how because everybody's like, what is that? It's new as of Monday. We can't get to it, but apparently something's coming. You can notice there's not a lot of snow on the mountains anymore, which is sad panda. So we are in the public resource world. This is PRW version 3.5 now. Normally you come in, you start here in the cinder vault, you want to come down here to PRW V3.4. Pretty simple. The other one says underground. And that is what it is down there. Obviously a lot of things haven't popped in yet, but I'm going to show you about it because today's video is going to be, what is it? What is a public resource world? Why do I care? What can I do with it? How do I get the files? All that kind of stuff. And I'm going to show you a tour of it today. So there's timestamps down below. It's going to be each of the different sections. Pop a little graphic up here. We're going to go over the square, which is above my head right there, and the hollow hall building. We're going to go over the basement, which is underneath the farmer's house. There's the alchemist house above my head right there. And we're going to go over the armory which was the original building built by Crazy Loon. I am actually not the progenerator of this. This is not a one-person build. This is built by many people. I am just the current caretaker until Crazy Loon comes back or somebody else takes over. So let's take a little hoppity skip over there and let's take a tour of this wonderful thing called a public resource world. Give you some idea of why you should care. All right, so you're going to come in, you're going to pop in right here. This is functioning as a town center, if you will. Uh, we're going to start with the first, the armory. Now, I have placed visual cues. Obviously, you can see some armor on the armor stands. You can see some weapons and a shield up there to let you know this is the armory. Going to come in here temporarily. The bard and the blacksmith have been placed in here, so they have a roof over their head. I do realize that causes another problem. There are a few items he can't craft without his tools nearby, but baby steps. So originally there were four boxes on each of the three of the trinity. You have your archer over there. You have your melee there. And then you have your uh, mage or wizard over there. Uh, here in the center, I have placed the cosmetics, so you can uh, do some fun things with them. Uh, new boxes have been added over here. These are all of your mannequin stands. They are your weapon and uh, shield stands, and then the wall stands as well. So you've got all kinds of fun scrolls in here. Then this starts mage proper. Obviously you can tell there's someone standing up there in mage gear and there's also a uh, staff here. So you're going to start with weapons. You have wands, which apparently I didn't finish getting them all done. And you have staves. Staves, excuse me. You have all of the rings associated with magic users. Wards, because I really didn't have any other place to put them, and these cannot at this time be placed on a shield mount. I think that's because it only glows when you actually block, but it'd be cool if they could make it just stay in that animation forever. It, it, it could be an issue of system resources. And then those uh, skull, you throw the skulls out, summoning vessels, those are cool. Ammo, ammo if uh, you've got your Eternals, and uh, Shroud Meteor. Got some more ammo. These are your uh, bone channels from Hollow Halls. Now you get into your gear. So the gear starts on all of these. Your level 23, quote unquote, best in slot up at the top left. And then it continues down from there. All of the higher tier stuff or the stuff that looks really nice, you might want to put it on multiple stands. I don't know why I opened an empty one has multiples where you only have two sets of like some of the lower stuff except for things where they were a crutch for people all the way till 23 or to a higher level now we get into the melee melee is going to be stuff obviously like one-handed weapons there are some unique items uh, this only comes exactly as you see it right there and everything in on this world 
is not upgraded. You do the upgrading yourself. We had a lot of outpour about, hey, we'd rather do the upgrade ourselves. So that's the way this world is. Everything is as you see it. Uh, still needs to be upgraded. And things like some, again, some random things. Um, this random, uh, very rare apparently, and apparently it goes up to epic, but I have not found it. It is quite rare. See rings that are health based. The leech rings. Then you got shields here in the middle. And and then it's gear. So you've got the new gear, right? The Elite Hollow, which at first glance you think, oh man, it's great. 240 health, that's great. Uh six percent crit strike chance is I'd rather have it the other way around. It's whatever. Uh Blunt damage, you know, it looks nice, but it's not as awesome as it sounds. Radiant Paladin's still pretty much the de facto standard. Soldier's another good choice. Same thing, gear all the way down. We'll go over here, and you've got your bows. Got a lot of bows. Whole heap and lot. And then the stamina rings, which there aren't a lot of. Then ammo, of course, you've got your eternal. The bone, which is now the best in slot if you just want uh, standard damage, and you got your additional ammo. And same with it. Gear starts up here, goes down there, and I did all the crafted sets, at least a pair of them, so you can have things for your armor stands. I couldn't find any better place for these, so your uh, musical instruments are in here. Seems seems fitting since it's kind of like a banquet hall as well. Then we come out here, and we will go down into the basement. This is original by Crazy Loon as well. So originally it was just this square and only a single box. I have doubled up on the boxes. You can see we have containers. All the containers in their box size that you would want if you want to do something in your own place. That's the whole purpose of a public resource world. You come here, you grab everything you need, you take it to your place, your world and you build whatever you want to build. So all the base resources of the game are over on this side. So every everything you can think of that is from the original game is from here that way. Then and some visual cues like that right there because we have that right there. So blocks blocks are those boxes there are uh, 12 of them. And it's all doubled. So you got double columns of every type. A whole heap and lot. This one's the new one, uh, most recent. Came out in the uh, last patch. The Black Mire, same with these guys. And then you got your hollow halls. All of your lighted blocks. Very cool. Then over here, this wing is what's all going to be new from now on, and I can still extend it that way if I need to. So you got your black mire over here. Lots and lots of foliage because, man, you go through a lot of that stuff when you're building hedges. And then hollow halls is over here. So that pretty much takes care of this jobby. Then we've got the farmer's house. So we'll take a little tour in here. This was a player submission. This was a contest we did. Not going to spend a heck of a lot of time on it, but we'll take a little look. See, I love the little uh, basement bathroom. It's adorbs. Very cool. You have two of your crafters out here. Admittedly, this stuff's kind of shoehorned in here, but I think it looks fine. We'll take a look upstairs and uh, go talk to Emily. So nice little seating patio out here. And then Emily is in here. Very cool looking kitchen, if you will. Very well decorated. Cool indeed. And you have a roof deck, which is just super cool. I love the creativity of the uh, chests, the side, uh, side tables. This was a design, I think, originally coined by Ketmall uh, for a, a uh, corner deck, like an outside curved deck. 
and it works works to, to great effort. Oh, a little too far. Let's check out the alchemist's house. So you got your alchemist, you got all the little tables and stuff. This was also another uh, player contest. This was the first contest, I believe. Very, very cute. Very cozy. Just outstanding. Love it. Nice little outside deck. There's also some uh, hidden shenanigans going on. Little uh, jail cell. <laughs> Back before we could make the uh, the actual jail. So, right over here, you've got your road stuff. I didn't move any of this. I figured it was there, it worked there. Over here, all I did was add these two boxes over here. These were already here. And I, I brought all of the uh, hollow halls in. And then we have all your regular potions and elixirs. Obviously, you got your table. Then you got your keys, you got bombs, and a little bit of the extended food, because this is all your big food items. So your your top buffs. It was all down here in this little sunken pit. I have changed this to like a crypt. So this has all of the new coffins, and it's got your mausoleums. I doubled these, so these are also over in the square. But I brought them here too, so anything that was crypt or jail is over here as well. These were added on the uh, Melodies of the Mire patch. This is kind of what those graveyard fences look like right there. There's what some of the tombstones look like. There's a mo standing mausoleum. Yeah, works out very well. This is just a, I slapped this together to get these close to the square so that you could see it. So this is the square. This is originally where all of the furniture is. Furniture, tools, you've got all of your workstations, everything you can need. You've got flame altars, you've got axes and gliders and backpacks and you name it, secret doors. This And it's what you see up there is the kind of stuff you see in the boxes. So this is your dishes. Over here you've got fences and pulls and ladders and buckets and you name it. We've got books galore. This is what my original contribution was to this public resource world. I was the book guy. And you got cabinets and then you got doors and windows which we have a whole heap and lot that I had to put some of these up here because there's just so dang many of them. <laughs> and they're all full. I think, I think there's one col yeah, there's one column left. Got all the banners, including the new ones, all the big boy banners, the war banners, whole bunch of lights, and make this make sense, Keen. So now, when you put something in your bag, it auto defaults to uh, whatever the size of the game set. There was some issue with the public resources for a short time. Higher stacks, and it was blocks causing it, higher stacks were causing game crashes. Once you hit, I want to say, 31 stacks. And in your bags, at third, the thirty-second stack was causing a crash. So they made it so as soon as you put this in your bag, it changes to the original thing. Why do these stack in five hundred keen, but all these stack in five? Just make it make sense. Anyways, you bathrooms, you got your uh, fireplaces and whatnot. I also added the bonfire over here, so that's cool. We got tables and chairs and beds, including the new bed that's a double bed. Yay, double bed! I had to extend over here. This is now all the collectibles. So you have your tables. You have fossils. You've got pottery items. You've got the VUCA shrines, including, you can see him up there. And then you've got the original, actually not original, these came out with uh, hollow halls. So all the collectibles all right in here. 
And then we're going to take a look at the hollow halls. Now there is a secret in the hollow halls. I'm This is the one building that I built. I I did the renovation for these buildings of course, but I actually built this. Now I have moved everything that was in all these over. Got a nice little reading nook here. This is the shrunken version of this. Um, several people said that this was a little too imposing. I'm like, all right, I'll shrink it down. Uh, it's not. It, it, I don't know if this is ever going to be finished. This thing is a massive project. Look at that freaking door. That's not even as high as it goes. Like, it goes to here, I think. But it just wasn't fitting with how I had that set, so I chopped it there. So here's your collector. A little collector bed and stuff. Man, do I show you the secret? Do I not show you the secret? The secret's pretty cool. I'll show you the secret. So over here, in the collector's room, you got a little hidden door. And he's got his own torture room in here. So I merged the machine with a head with the eye that follows you. That's cool. A little fire in-wall fireplace. This is where he does his... Uh, I don't know. He's, he's got a chair made out of bone, so he's doing some dastardly things. And there's even a way to get to the outside. So that's pretty cool. And let's go take a look downstairs at the wholly unfinished. Like, this isn't unfin unfinished either. This is the one thing that's still down here. I haven't thought of a better place to put them. So all of the uh, flower pots are still down here in the fitting space that I built for them, which I really like. I love the sunken chest on the wall. Then you have the reading nooks that I built, which I think are fantastic with their own little ceiling lights, down lighting. Then you got this monstrosity, it's great. That's a hell of a door, man. So we come down in here. Love the big banners my unfinished ceiling work that I am one block off to the left, I think it is, and my god, rebuilding that to fix it by one block is just murderous. And you can see how far down I'm go I am have gone versus how da far down I still have to go. You gotta be careful if you come down here because you gotta pour it out. And you need a... <laughs> it's a long way down. Uh, you need your glider if you go down there because you will die. Look come over here. I, I like the, the bridge work. I did a very good job of distressing the bridge. This didn't used to be here. The person who did the farmer wanted to move it so that they could build that house they built. And fine. So now we have a second one. That's why this is labeled underground. This was the original wall. I had this all the way up to the red line. I don't know if I'm going to go too much further because you see all that up there? That's all shroud. And I can't build any, I can't even delete anything up there. But it's cool. It gives it a cool kind of mysterious look. But yeah, this is the never ending project, it seems, that I work on. So, what a public resource world does for you. And this one, although there is someone that recently started hosting this, I don't know if they're going to host it forever. It used to be hosted a long time ago when Crazy Loon was the architect of it. But I don't have the time or resources to host this. So I give you the files. You load them onto your computer. Anytime you need more resources, you just reload the files all over again. It resets this exactly as it was. And then you go build on your own world. I would suggest not building on this world because then you can't refresh it. So always use this as what you get for your resources instead of using it as your world because at some point you will deplete your resources and then you can't do anything about what you built so you can go and grab all the armor you want all the armor stands you want and go place them all around your building i really like how uh i really like the look of this at night i need to get a few more lights in here but it, but it looks really cool and then you have an unlimited source to be able to build your own wonder whatever it is you decide that you want to build for your own world that is the purpose of a public resource world this is one of several there's at least three active right now there's this 
There's uh, Fort Resources by Shade, and there's Wolfric's, I think it's called Public Item Mall, or Wolfric's Item Mall, or something like that. All three of those are very active. I mean, we're all up to date with the most recent patch that is Back to the Shroud. So everything's good. We're all functional as far as uh, all the items from the most recent update. We try our best to get them all out as fast as possible. This time took us uh, about a day and a half to get everything out. Normally we're done... Does that glow very well? It doesn't glow as well as I thought it would. I put some of the green blocks behind that uh, coffin. We're pretty quick, I would say, on each patch. So uh, just expect this is going to continue. It's going to continue to increase in items. We will be doing another build contest sometime soon. It's it's a, it's a bit of work to deal with, so I don't know exactly when I'm going to hold it. Now, these are listed. I'm going to put in the comments down below and in the description. The files for this are listed on Discord. And I also always have them on my Patreon. Now, my Patreon's always going to be free for these files. Sure, I do have subscription for other things, other content levels, but this will always be free. I'm never going to have this behind a paywall because this is not my creation. This is created by all of us, you know, those of us playing the game. And I'm not going to paywall that. That's just, that's awful. And people that do that, I, I consider to be pretty awful, so... I appreciate you stopping by and checking out the public resource world now at version 3.5. Have a great day.